Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna go complain about something that's absolutely, absolutely dreadful. Dreadful, horrible, quick video, but I've been out throughout the day doing stuff, but right now I sat down on my computer seeing this, and it makes me more sad and disappointed than anything I've had a chance to see so far. And this is one big thing that keeps on happening in the gaming sphere. It happened to Xbox very specifically, and it's just painful. So as you guys probably know, when it comes to most games and game acquisitions, some of these big companies such as Xbox buying Activision for $70 billion is a pretty big deal. They're spending a lot of money, a lot of time, and basically trying to think of long-term what's good for their company. But right now, if you guys missed it, we made a video on this where one of the bigger game company like conglomerates called Embracer Group, which owns quite a few big things, such as like Remnant, Borderlands, and like they also had a lot of like things like Tomb Raider, like a lot of really big IPs you have definitely heard of, has actually been kind of falling to, well, pain and suffering. So as you guys go and subscribe and leave a like down below, I'm going to tell you guys how much of a horrible thing this is. I actually am upset. I'm actually upset. So when I went through the Activision deal with Xbox, after the deal was kind of going through, the government actually called out Xbox because Xbox themselves had a huge, massive layoff. They laid off thousands of people as that acquisition was ongoing. And obviously the government was even like, hey, this is not what we were expecting. We're kind of allowing this $70 billion deal, even though we maybe shouldn't, call it monopoly laws or whatever. But you basically instantaneously laying people off the second this acquisition was done. You're a horrible person, Xbox. Now, this video is not talking about Xbox, although to highlight this, it's a somewhat common thing that happened. But if you guys missed the news, Gearbox, which is the same studio that makes Borderlands, namely, and different there's the Borderlands movie coming out, and a lot of other various smaller IPs you've probably heard of. But it's like a big game. Like most of you guys have probably heard of Borderlands themselves. And more recently, you guys have probably heard of Embracer too as well, because they were a multi-billion dollar company holding some of the more prominent IPs as a publisher out there. But right now, the news is coming out where, as I mentioned, yeah, as of yesterday, like the past, like this past week, it was like the Gaming Week news. I made a video on this like literally yesterday, that Gearbox was sold for around 300, I believe, $80 million. So not a hefty or pretty hefty chunk, not super small. Like, it's pretty big up there. It's not as big as, say, a Bungie or whatever. I'm, I'm also, once again, surprised that Sony didn't put a proper offer for it. But right now, Gearbox is now having big, big layoffs after just being a few hours after sold, being sold by Embracer Group. This is what makes me so sick to my stomach when it comes to the gaming sphere. I despise this. I hate this. I hate everything about this. Gearbox, like I said, is Borderlands. They have the movie ongoing. They have a lot of shows. They have also apparently a brand new Borderlands game in the work based on the PR stuff. So Borderlands 4 most likely. And even Tiny Tina came out not that long ago. It was pretty good. They even had like I think a board, like, like I said, they, they have a lot of different various IPs. Even like, I think board games too as well. So it took less than a day for employees at Gearbox Entertainment to be hit off by with layoffs by Embracer Group. The amount of pain and suffering I have in my body is painful. The amount of, like, everything about here hurts. So I understand the world right now. I'm going full camp for this. I understand right now the world's a bit of a weird spot. There's layoffs in a lot of various companies. A lot of people I know personally in the gaming sphere. Like, as you guys know, I'm a Twitch streamer. If you guys want to follow on Twitch, you guys can. If you guys follow me on YouTube, thank you. But, like, I cover gaming news. I talk about gaming news. But the same thing is I know developers. I know people making games. I know people that work at Twitch, people who work at YouTube. Because... I, I just been around and it's not like a gloating thing because I'm sad about this news. I'm sad about seeing people getting laid off. I'm sad about the fact that people literally found out that their company was being sold. In most traditional senses, you'd be like maybe apprehensive, but maybe excited. Like, I mean, I always hear like you sell the company. People have these big acquisition bonuses and they have retention bonuses. So they have to stay at the company so the company doesn't falter. Instead, we're on this really weird side where a company such as Embracer Group will spend a lot of money on, say, a game studio like Gearbox. At that point, the first wave, everyone's happy. Brand new owner, might have some more bonuses, stock options, whatever it might be. Like, that's a win in the gaming sphere. We like that. But ever since now, there's been a huge drop-off. Where some people were reportedly saying that Gearbox was sold for over a billion dollars and is now being resold for only eight, uh, $300 million. Upper range at $300 million, but still. And that sucks. So this is actually Rockstar. Like, literally, Rockstar themselves. This is like, if you guys don't know about the fact and more of the drama, Take Two, the company Take Two itself is literally Rockstar, like Rockstar in 2K. So if anything, the fault kind of goes on them 
granted, this is an acquisition stage. Maybe you want to go buy a company, look at the financials, and realize, hey, this is probably the reason why you guys are failing, because you guys maybe have, like, 50 managers, 100 community managers, 10 people running a Twitter account, when you can probably, like, you know, trim the fat pretty well. Like, I get that. I understand that. But dang. Like I said, literally a day. A day, dude. Like, in theory, this is Rockstar. This is technically, like, it's, it's take two Rockstar. <sighs> it's rough. Because I made my, when I made my video, I was excited. I was like, hey, there's going to be a future stuff. They have a lot of funding. They make a lot of revenue from games like GTA 5, GTA 6 in the near future. So they have a little bit of wiggle room. They'll have a chance to get more people. They'll have a chance to go and like expand the gaming sphere. Nope, even worse. So we're going to multiple posts on social media. A number of people are no longer working for Gearbox after it was announced that the company is being purchased by Take-Two Interactive. Along with countless others, I've just been informed I've been laid off at Gearbox. Former PR manager Jennifer Locke posted on Twitter. So I can show you guys the Twitter post itself over here. It really was a dream come true working for, on this team. I am so incredibly thankful for my time here. So you guys can see these tweets over here. It's floating around too. It's from prior Gearbox official. Like I said, like this is just sad. This is really honest to God, just sad to go and see. Everyone's like just like sad about it. Like I'm sad about this myself. Senior user, researcher, investigator also posted on the platform saying, I just lost my job. This is literally a day. Following the exciting news of Take-Two Interactive and Gearbox Entertainment merger last night. So this is basically just Rockstar. I, like many others, received the unfortunate news this morning that my position will no longer be required. Former director of online engagement Chris Hardana posted on LinkedIn. After three incredible years at Gearbox, my journey with the company has concluded. Another former PR staff, Steve Prince, also confirmed on LinkedIn that he was among the cuts. As of writing, it's unclear how many people were impacted by the layoff, but it's nuts. So apparently we're seeing some numbers. I was hearing $380 million before. I'm now seeing a $460 million in stock. Uh, but this is nuts to go and see. So basically right now there is huge layoffs going on. Uh, I understand why. Like high level, I get it. You just bought a company, you want to go and see who's not going to be, like, required or whatever. But this is literally a day. Like, how do you even know who you even need to fire in a day? I mean, like, granted, you can kind of just, like, like start, smush, smush down and rehire as time is needed, maybe? I get that. It's kind of what Elon Musk did with Twitter. They trimmed the Fed a lot, and they kind of moved on. I get it. But, like, this is literally, the like, the next day. Like, people don't even have the time, the time to process this. Now, at the same time, maybe it's more, more cutthroat, and they're just trying to make sure they're making profit and revenue very quickly, because obviously it wasn't doing as well for Embracer to be sold off. But there is potential there. But seeing this in the gaming sphere breaks my heart to see this. That, like, at the end of the day, people are literally just laying people off, like, instantaneously. So I don't know. Like, this is horrible to go and see. Like, this is not a fun weekend news, especially for anyone at Gearbox 2 as well. And these are just, it's just inappropriate. Like, I feel i feel bad for these people. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, swing by the Twitter and Twitch if you guys want to as well. And just, man, just thanks.